Hello and welcome to Rashpati Bhavan, where the Festival of Innovations is underway. There have been a series of activities and events aimed at encouraging the spirit of inclusive innovation. We had the Gandhian Young Technological Innovation Award to celebrate the spirit not just of Mahatma Gandhi, but of the spirit of innovation in our youth. Then there was the Visitors Award, which went for the best university and for best innovation and research. There was also a workshop for innovative and creative children to encourage the spirit of curiosity and creativity in children. Hope you enjoy seeing the video of the highlights and also the discussion with senior officers of Rashpati Bhavan. We welcome your feedback and suggestions on this video. Ma'am, yesterday I think an important component in it was the visitors awards which were given yesterday. All the three awards, if you just look at the significance of the work which has been done by these researchers. Uh, Dr. Bhatnagar's work on anthrax uh, medicine and then uh, molecular parasitology, molecular the malarial parasite. parasite. Yes, so the, the, the work done by that huge team. Now, very fact that so many teams have been brought together Correct. to synergize the effort uh, to reach a level where now they are ready for clinical tests is a huge tribute to the scientific genius of uh, our scientists and our the capabilities of our laboratories and also both these awards were won by JNU, JNU. which again reflects the quality of people and the faculty that we have in these institutions yes. the research staff that we have in these institutions and the best award went to Tezpur University which is from the northeast yes. along with the round table ma'am one more thing which happened was what, what is known as the Gandhian Young Technological Innovation Award which is a joint effort between an organization called Shushti, which works along with the National Innovation Foundation and the Department of Biotechnology and an organization under it, under it called the BIRAC, uh, the Biotechnology uh, Research Council. So they have conducted a national competition where over 2,000 entries were received from 272 universities across 26 states. And these entries were screened and awards have been given to 43 teams of young people. And each 15 students got 15 lakhs each, which is a great reward for what the work they have done as well as incentive for the future. We really now need to give a big push to the role of these institutions as connectors. The, they must bring together the grassroots innovation and the best technology available. They must uh, create an ecosystem where innovation becomes a way of life. You know, innovation calls for certain departure from the conformist attitude. You know, we have this habit of pounding people into conformity. So that attitude in our um, schools, colleges has to be modified to allow free thinking, to allow uh, creativity and experimentation. <laughs> so the, all these things will generate a ecosystem which will make us a country of billions of innovations. Because every person can be an innovator. Every person can be an innovator. Just we, have to ignite to, the we, we just have to create a system where they get a little bit of encouragement or at least they don't get uh, reprimanded or uh, subdued into uh, yes. uh, This is what the CEO of Bandhan uh, Bank uh, said. He said, you know, we've all grown up thinking that you go to a bank, you get a loan, but banks don't give loans un unless there's so much so security. The need it the most. And yeah. the poorest people, the lowest level of poverty, he says, that's the uh, area that I focus. And it was popular, it was cheap, and it was so successful. And so quickly we collected so much of money and we helped so many people who were able to uh, raise their uh, level of living. Their, their children went uh, to uh, you know graduate uh, level of education and things like that. And also another point which came up was that um, when you ignite the minds of the students, it should be at the school level. Because innovation has to have knowledge. You have to give them the knowledge and the uh, attitude and that should start young. So schools coming here, it would be interesting to see their reactions and what is the result of the visitors here to yeah, our yet exhibition. another activity which was part of the festival was a workshop for school children, especially children with creative and innovative impulses. They were given problems to solve. 
their uh, answers or their ideas were examined by experts who then counseled them, which was a wonderful initiative to teach innovation to children. A vision in your eyes, a compassion in your heart, and passion in your belly. Okay. That is what is needed to really bring change. And uh, as I often say that, you know, we are a huge country. We are a country where still 22% people live below poverty line. 27% people are illiterate. So we don't have the luxury of indefinite time mm -hmm. to bring in changes. So speed, scalability, and sustainability are real issues. And these all three are doable. They are doable if we can make innovation a way of life right from the school days to the day till you die. Exactly. Because there is no Learning age. Learning never ends. They have. So there is no age for, uh, for, situation. for uh, creativity, for uh, innovation. Well, there are studies which say your creativity curve starts tapering off after a certain age. But then you might not be as creative. But that creative uh, urge always yes. remains with you. And you have that wisdom when you're yeah. older. And, and as long experience. as you have curiosity in your mind okay. and the willingness to take so, risks. So I think we have to keep on pushing now the, uh, all our institutions to do these three things. They must teach people to observe, to learn, to be in a learning mode all their lives. And they also must, uh, yes, to raise issues, don't, not accept everything as given because that is the biggest deterrent to creativity and uh, innovation. Accepting anything and everything without questioning. So it's only a questioning mind which will innovate because you question why something is being done in a particular manner. Why not in another way? Can it be done that better? is what innovation is.